Oh, good. Okay, so we're just going to go down the list here, right? So this is uh, starting with the Meisner's corpuscle. So, oh, sorry. <laughs> So a Meisner's or a tactile corpuscle, uh, these are basically receptors in the skin. And then another one's called a Pacinian corpuscle. So the Meisner corpuscle is this one right here. So this is a Meisner corpuscle. You can see lots of them here. The Pacinian corpuscle is this one right here. Now on this particular model, the Pacinian corpuscle is a little bit low. It should actually be up higher up in the dermis. Okay, This is showing it down in the hypodermis, but it's okay. It's a model. Okay, so this is Pacinian. Uh, next we have apocrine sweat gland. This is the apocrine sweat gland. This is found in your armpit uh, or pubic or genital areas. Okay? So on this particular model that you're looking at, there's actually three sections of skin. This first section of skin is from your foot. This area right here is your axillary or armpit area. And then this area right here is, I think, scalp. Yeah, so this is from the scalp, okay? So this particular sweat gland, notice, is not in these other areas, right? It's only in the axillary, okay? And it's got this tube that's coming to the surface. So this is called an apocrine sweat gland. All the white ones are known as eccrine sweat glands, okay? Eccrine sweat glands. Uh, next we have, and they just produce regular watery sweat. Uh, the next one is sebaceous gland. So these are sebaceous glands right here. You can see it opened up right here. These are the ones that create the oils for your hair and for your skin. Uh, next we have dermal papillae. Uh, if you look right here, you can see these ridges coming up this way. Okay? All these little ridges right here are called dermal papillae. And then you can see here, ridge, 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 ridge. Okay? So these dermal papillae, uh, in places like the hands and the feet, can really push up into the epidermis, and they can create the epidermal ridges that we see on the surface that become our fingerprints and our footprints. Okay? So dermal papillae. Uh, epidermis has five layers in thick skin, four layers in thin skin. So these are the layers of the epidermis. So this is all epidermis here. The first dark layer right here, stratum basal. Next layer up, stratum spinosum. Next dark layer, stratum granulosum. The white layer, stratum lucidum. And then this upper layer here, stratum corneum. So five layers in thick skin. Bobby should greet Lucy carefully. In thin skin, notice it's a lot thinner, okay? but it also only has four layers. It doesn't have this white layer in the thin skin portion. So you have stratum basal, stratum spinosum, stratum granulosum, stratum corneum. Uh, next on the list here, root hair plexus. Okay? What a root hair plexus is, is the nerve that surrounds the hair follicle. On this particular model, we don't show any nerves around the follicles. We show blood vessels coming in, but none of the nerves, okay? So, and I don't think that model, that one doesn't really have one either. It shows blood vessels, but it doesn't show the nerves. So you'll have to use the diagram. Uh, these are supposed to be nerve fibers here, but they're not actually surrounding it. So we won't do it on the model, okay? Uh, but from the diagram, I think, you're, yeah, see your diagram shows it nicely. See these yellow lines on the diagram, okay? That's a root hair plexus, okay? Root hair plexus. Uh, next, we have dermis of the skin. Okay? Uh, the upper portion is epidermis. Okay? Right, we did the five layers of the epidermis. So underneath it, we have the dermis. Uh, the dermis comes in two parts. Okay? The upper portion is called the papillary portion of the dermis. It's about 20% of the dermis. Uh, the other 80% of the dermis is called the reticular layer. Okay? So dermis, papillary portion at the top, reticular portion underneath. Uh, hair shaft, hair papilla, hair follicle, hair root, okay? These are all parts of a hair. Uh, the hair shaft is the part that actually comes out of the skin, okay? So it's the part that we can actually see. This portion down here then would be the hair root, okay? So hair shaft followed by hair root. Uh, the hair papilla, that's this little piece right here. So see how connective tissue goes into the follicle? This whole thing is called a hair follicle you got connective tissue coming in here. That brings the blood vessels in that's going to keep the hair alive. Because hair is actually an epithelial 
right? It's actually an epidermal structure. And so if it's epithelial, it has no blood vessels, right? So in order to keep hair alive, you have to bring connective tissue into this structure called the hair papilla. Uh, hair follicle, we said, is the whole organ. Right? That's the whole thing. Uh, and then the last structure here is the hypodermis layer. So this is the hypodermis layer down here. So epidermis, dermis, hypodermis. The end. The end. That's all the parts of the